Hello everyone, my name is Milia. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna do my third update for the Mission 100% Cruelty Free Project Pan. This uh, project was started by Sarah. I will link her down below and also up in the card somewhere. And yeah, let's go to straight into my update. <laughs> so I have one product that has been here since the beginning, and it's my OPI nail polish in the shade You Don't Know Jack. And here is my progress. Um, I don't know if you will be able to tell, but that's where I was in the last update. This is where I am now. I'm gonna see if it wants to focus. Excuse my nails. Um, I'm so bad at painting my nails, but I have made the tiniest bit of progress. I don't know. Yeah, maybe you can see it. But I have used it maybe twice since the last update, which one is today, and my nails look horrible. So, excuse that. I'm not good at painting my nails. <laughs> And that's also the only thing that's left in this project pan. So we have five products rolling out. And I will share those with you now. So I had this Maybelline, the blush nudes palette. Um, and I had in this shade. And I wanted to hit pan. And I did hit pan on it. Which is really exciting. Also had my Maybelline Fit Me powder that I wanted to hit pan on. And there is a pretty nice pan in it also. And then I had in the Wet n Wild Photo Focus foundation that I wanted to finish. And I scraped out everything I could. I stored it upside down. I tried to shake out all of the product, I just could not get anything else out of this foundation, so it is done. I love this foundation, so I'm so sad it's not cruelty free, but yep, it's done. Uh, also used up the uh, Maybelline Eraser Concealer. As you can see, there's nothing left on the bottom whatsoever. Um, I really like this concealer as well. I really like Maybelline products overall, but, and I'm so sad Maybelline is not cruelty free, but it's, it's out of my collection. And the last product that I finished is the Wet n Wild Natural Finish Setting Spray. It's all empty. Um, the mist on it, or the sprayer, uh, broke, so I had to pour this into another bottle uh, at the end, but I used it up. So I'm introducing five new products into this project pan. I'm so excited. So I'm gonna put in this Rimo Insta CC primer. This is the lavender one. It's pretty full. I think I'm about here. I've only used it like 10 times maybe um, since I bought it. It's newer in my collection, so I haven't used it that much. So, but I'm introducing this into the project pan. Um, the next product, I'm rolling in a new concealer. This is also from Maybelline. It's the Super Stay Concealer. And I have marked where I'm starting. So I'm starting off there. And I do like this concealer. I'm wearing it today. Um, it's a good concealer. It's not my favorite, though. Um, also putting in this Max Factor lasting performance setting spray all the text is rubbed off but i think it's called the lasting performance setting spray and that is where i'm starting so this is huge it is 100 mils 
and it's pretty new as you can see but i'm i use a lot of setting sprays so i think i can use it up this year um i'm introducing a highlighter this is a maybelline highlight in diamond glow and it's kind of breaking but this is what it looks like it's breaking right here but oh well it's kind of squishy though so i'm like pressing it back together <laughs> my goal will be to hit pan on this highlight it's one of my favorite highlighters it's beautiful i will swatch it for you It's gorgeous. It's so pretty and I can't wait to use it more. And the last product I'm introducing is the Lancome eyeshadow in the shade Tres Chocolat. And it looks pretty much brand new. Um, it's just a chocolate brown eyeshadow. I'm not panning anything like this this dark um i know i can use this in my brows uh, it's dark enough and cool toned enough to use in my brows and it looks okay um and also i can use it in my eyes to deepen up my outer corner which i did today and i really like this eyeshadow i want to hit pan on it this is very hotly pressed and i have used i have had it in a project pan before and i have used it a lot but you can barely see that I've touched it. <laughs> so it's gonna be difficult to hit pan on this, but I'm gonna try my best. But that's my update. Um, again, I will link Sarah down below and also the playlist. I believe there is a playlist for this project pan. I will link that down below as well. Um, you can use uh, hashtag mission 100 cruelty free or to find people on Instagram and on YouTube who are doing this project pan. And we are doing updates every other month. So yeah, and the project goes until you are 100% cruelty free, which for me is going to take a while. <laughs> But that was my update. I'm, I hope you liked it. Please subscribe and stay here. And like the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you didn't like it. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.